Hi there, I'm back with another review, and this time is for All the Beautiful Things by Peter Swanson. In this book, we meet Harry. Harry's in college, and he received a message, a call from his stepmom, who advises him that his dad has died, and it seemed that the police were ruling it a suicide. Now, his dad ran a bookstore locally. Uh, he had moved from New York City years ago, um, and he had a bookstore there as well, but then now he opened one locally. And so his stepmom is Alice, Alice is a local lady. Um, the way she's described is she's really fair-skinned. She's beautiful by most people's standards. Men tend to find her attractive. And even Harry himself, even as a teenager and currently in college, you know, uh, finds her attractive as well and has some conflicting emotions uh, regarding his attraction to her. But it's not anything that he really um, acted upon, but he does notice her as well. Now, Alice... You know, she's aware of her beauty and she uses that to her advantage as well to influence situations or manipulate as she needs to. In this book, we also go into the past as well, uh, into the life of Alice as she was growing up. Um, and we find that she had some encounters uh, as well with a sexual predator, which, which extended over time. And we find that this might be something that has influenced her behavior and the way that she sees the world as well. Um, so in current time, uh, Harry is back at home for the funeral and she notices a lady who was wa watching her or seemed to have recognized him, but he doesn't know who this lady is. And they later, you know, struck up a conversation and the lady confessed that, you know, she knew his dad. The lady's name was Grace. She's a much, young, much younger lady than his dad, but they had some form of friendship just from working together at the bookstore in New York. So she's of the impression that something's not quite right with his father's death. And then, of course, she he starts eventually to question really what was going on. So now, uh, shortly after Grace was there locally, she ended up, you know, being killed, um, which was really suspicious as well. So now he's worried as well. Uh, shortly after Grace was killed, Grace's uh, sister comes into town as well and it seemed like they're twins and so Harry ended up you know meeting her and talking and so you know they're talking about you know the information that the sister had told her and what what he told Harry and so together they have come to the conclusion that something was amiss uh, with with the circumstances that were going on so in uh, Alice's younger years, there were some things that had happened uh, with a friend of hers, and it seemed that she was somehow culpable in the death of her friend. So there was also um, a uh, gentleman who was working in the bookstore as well, and we find out later that that was somebody that Alice knew. And it does appear that uh, um, Bill, who was Harry's dad, it doesn't seem that he knew of the relationship between Alice and this man who was working at the bookstore. So uh, in the end, we find out that it did appear that uh, Alice was manipulating things somehow and was uh, uh, culpable for the death of her husband. Not that she did it herself, but, um, you know, situations that occur uh, was as a result of things that she did as well. In the end, though, uh, karma came back uh, to bite Alice, so to speak, because of some things that she had done in the past. Um, and so at the end of the book, we find that there's a huge twist um, that that happens that involves Alice and, you know, the payback that was coming for her deeds that uh, had taken place in the past. So definitely um, a solid book for sure. Uh, the circumstances that led up to the death, um, the past uh, involving Alice and how things wrapped up in the end of the book was definitely not something that was predictable at all. Definitely a four star on this one. If you have read or listened to this book, let me know your thoughts. Until next time.